What are we doing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just thought I'd uh, hop on here because I got to be at home for a little while. Relax. I got some mail we can open. I can leave that door open. I don't know. The cleaning light too close. The cleaning lady came today and I found like this puddle of yellow liquid. And it looked like too much liquid for it to be cat throw up. And if it was cat throw up, it would imply something very bad. But I think it was water that she used to clean the floors. So, and I checked in with Buster and he seemed fine, but Jesus Christ, you don't want to, when you have an animal, you kind of want to know what the puddle of yellow fluid is. Do you know what I mean? Buster, where are you still? Are you still in there, dude? Hey, is that you? Hey, what are you doing? You all right? Dude. Buddy. Did I reveal you? Are you sick? Or are you just hiding from Ernie? <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? Are you hiding from Ernie? Come on. What are you doing? I uh, got Ernie over here fixing some shit. Fucking hungry, man. I hiked up the mountain, then I went to the office and picked up some shit. Where'd I put that tripod? Yeah, I got Ernie over here. Ernie's kind of a, a mythic handyman in this world. Here, this looks appetizing. Why not eat that one piece of dried roast chicken breast you have left? Yummy. Um... Ernie the Handyman. <clears throat> the, his the history of Ernie. The history of Ernie. Ernie, years ago, um, when I lived in Highland Park, I lived next door to a Bulgarian contractor named Roman. Roman had some big plans. He was going to make his house into a mansion with fountains and all this shit. And he was this odd young guy. He used to ride motorcycles. And he was a contractor. He'd run around in his trucks. Nice enough guy, but he was my neighbor. Ernie was this mysterious dude that worked for him. He worked for uh, Roman, the Bulgarian contractor. So Ernie started to do some, they did, him and Roman did some stuff in my backyard. And then... Roman went on to sort of get in trouble somehow or marry a, like a, a Christian rock singer or something or he moved back to Bulgaria. He sold uh, motorcycles. I don't know. Roman disappeared in some other... I don't know what happened to Roman, but he had some other properties, whatever. So Ernie started doing handiwork for me, you know, building a fence here and there. You know, he kind of was learning his trade for me. And then my wife at the time, Mishnah, started turning him on to, you know you know, telling other people about Ernie. So like in my neighborhood, like the old neighborhood, there's like four or five fences built by Ernie. There's a lot of interiors built by Ernie, but he went on to work for, um, you know, a lot of uh, celebrities through like, not through my wife, but through like 
uh, the Antons used to live here. So, so now Ernie does, uh, he works for Armisen. He works for Brendan Small. He works for uh, Mark Rivers. Like, you know, he's, uh, Ernie's like this notorious dude. Fucking Ernie. Ernie's definitely the man. What, fix the one thing a hair? That's, it's all gonna dry soon. I just got out of the shower. All right, so let's, um, so we can assume, use whatever options you have at your disposal to maintain your sanity without hurting yourself or others. Are we gonna assume that, uh, that that wasn't cat vomit? I smelled it, it didn't smell like anything. Oh, that's terrible. I just bit the cartilage. It ruins everything. That fucking piece of cartilage and chicken ruins it, the whole fucking experience. You know what else? You know what else ruins things? Nasty ass lemon seeds. Hate them. How about lemons? You know when you get a like a drink back in the day when you used to go to restaurants or something or have a cocktail and you get a, a fucking drink and uh you get some slimy ass old fucking nasty lemons that've been sitting in the lemon thing forever. Gross. Hold on, man. Um, lemon seeds are the fucking worst, man. It's not that they're bitter. There's just something about a piece of eggshell. Not too terrible. Lemon seeds, horrible. Um, unripe tomato? Nope. You need a ladder, Ernie? No, I'm good. What the fuck is happening? Uh, my dog tried it up. Oh, oh, your dog's out. Oh, okay. Ernie does a lot of stuff for Fred, I think. Um, look. It's one of Ernie's dogs. Which dog is it? Boo-boo. Boo-boo. Is, is Gizmo still alive? Yeah. He, he's had issues with, uh, he always, he's constantly hacking. Oh. But he's still, he's still around. Yeah? Look at what someone said. Andrea sent, or no, the, who sent this? Hold on. Look. Should we go see if, uh, if Buster likes it? Winger! What's up, Winger? <clears throat> I'm doing live TV from my porch, Ernie. I'm doing a live TV show from my porch right now on Instagram. Yeah. I'm going to go make Gizmo a star. Kit still has the new kitty. I haven't taken the new kitty yet. Oh, we got to put in that. Um, you want to go see Giz? Boo Boo, right. Go see Boo Boo. Boo Boo. Boo Boo. There's Ernie. Boo Boo, what's up? Hey, buddy. Boo -boo. Look at you. I don't see many doggies. But I remember you when you were little. Boo. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Boo -boo. Hey. What's this? Hey. Wait. Wait. Okay. <laughs> yeah, more? <laughs> what are you? Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay. One more? 
Live show, folks. Live show. Okay. All right. Good job, Ernie and Gizmo, ladies and gentlemen, on the big show. <laughs> oh, man. It's wild, dude. Whatever happened to Roman? Uh, he, he moved to Austin, Texas. He moved to Austin, Texas, too? Yeah. So he's back from Bulgaria? Now he's in Austin? Yeah. That's the last I heard. I lost contact with him. Huh. Wow. Everyone's going to Austin. Is he working for Joe Rogan? Who? Roman. Roman. <laughs> Rogan's building a, a large entertainment complex with the uh, unusual training camp attached. Making that up. Are we going to go see if... Um, we're going to go see if Buster likes these, this shit? How much... I don't even know how much you can give him this. This is from Cat Sushi. I hope the cats at the ranch love Cat Sushi. It's just... I just have the one cat now. Spike Sklar, co-founder of Cat Sushi. Cat Sushi treats. I have to replace your fountain with a fire pit area? What are you talking about? I have a fire pit. I don't have a fountain. All right, let's see. But how are these not just... My friends with Rogan? Sure. I've known Joe a long time. Are we buddies? Do we talk? Would he would he answer my call? Probably. <laughs> I don't know what. We are uh we, we've been co-workers for decades, me and Joe. But uh I would not say we're friends, but we're definitely not at odds, I don't think. Hey, Buster, come here, you want a treat? Buster. 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 Buster, come on, you want a snack? Buster, you want to try this? Here. Hey, you want to try this stuff? Here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Buster, here, look, look, here. Oh, it's stinky. Don't worry about Ernie. What do you think? Ooh, yummy. Good? Come here, you want more? Here. It's not alive, dude. Seriously, you spend all your time trying to get that shit out of the cabinet. And that's it? It's over? That was it? Huh? Come on, man. Rethink it. Rethink it. Come here. What are you doing? This is not a good promo for cat sushi. Come on. Buster. Here. No? No? That's crazy. I thought we were, I thought this was a fucking I thought that was a grand slam or what do they say, a home run or out of the park or the, the good thing or whatever. No? That astounds me. I find it astounding, Buster. Hey, what are you doing? Come on. Come here, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come here. 
Buster, come here. What is it, Ernie? Come here, buddy. Was it? You didn't throw up, did you? Come here, Buster. Come here, Buster. Ha. <laughs> yeah. It's Ernie, right? Ernie remembers all the cats. Come here. What are you doing? Oh, you pee. Come on, man. The yellow liquid I found was it kind of foamy. It, I, it looked like it looked like it could have been. Um, oh shoot! It looked like it could have been the puke. I don't know, man. It was an awful lot, and I know she just got this shit, this yellow shit, to uh, to clean. Um, it didn't smell like anything. But usually, in my experience, um, uh, I have, I have, I have, uh, all of Big Thief's records. In my experience, um, that if a cat's pukey, it's, uh, it's going to be, um, there's going to be more than one bit of it, especially if it's like, you know, deadly puke. Like if the cat's like really ill, there's going to be a little, little bunches of puke everywhere. Um, that's my experience. It really looked like it was too much for puke and she had just left and it looked, I don't know, man. What am I going to do? Um, I'm going to I'm going to smoke some sable. That's that's the big plan. But I was going to open some uh, mail, but uh, I don't know. That seems to have gotten away from us here. Hold on. Maybe we'll do it after I throw this shit on. I eat this smoked fish all the fucking time. This isn't smoked yet. This is just, just brined, just brined up, brined and shiny. Let's go. Oh, I got to get the probe. Where's a good probe piece? That looks like one. Sorry. If you guys want to check it. That's what's doing. I'm going to go find the fucking probe. Am I not afraid of too much fish syndrome? I don't know. What is that? I mean, is that a mercury thing? Your wife said I tried to show her your probe. When would that have been? Doesn't sound like me. I'm going to show everybody my probe in a second. No, I'm worried about the cat. I really think it was way too much to be puke and when I saw him when I got back he was fine um did somebody explain too much fish syndrome I'm busy I'm not reading the comments I mean uh I'm not eating high mercury fish I stay away from the tunas generally and, um, well, so, I don't know. I get tired of fish more than anything else, but I try to mix it up with some other stuff. Um, 
All right, hold on. Let me get up here. Probed. Now, let's see, yes. Let's say 155. Cool. All right. Done deal. Oh, he was joking? Okay. So that's that. I can't believe Buster wouldn't eat the fucking stuff. Maybe I'll eat it later. I don't know. How long does that shit usually smoke for? I don't know, like two and a half, three hours. I just gotta make sure I push down on it later because it like all the all the water will get I gotta fucking buy some food, you guys. Seriously. Come on, man. I got nothing to fucking snack here. Oh, fuck, I'm tired of yams. I'm fucking tired of the food. I'm tired of the routine. I'm tired of the patterns of my life. I'm tired of fucking not seeing... I'm tired of not seeing people in a way. Just these fucking routines are getting fucking tedious. I'm going stir crazy. I do see a few people, but it's still, man. I'm waking up. I wake up bleak. And then, What's cracked? The, with the last window I'm, I'm about to get to. It's cracked on the... The glass is cracked? Yeah. I'm about to work on it. I've seen that, so I'm saying no. Oh, oh, oh. You're just saying that you didn't do it. Yes. <laughs> um, But that's that, that piece isn't missing. It's just cracked on the corner? Yeah. Oh, fuck it. Those are old-ass windows. I guess it'll just be all right. Okay. Don't you think? I don't got to worry about it yet. No, it's fine. Oh. Houses. The joys of home ownership. I like this house, though. Um, yeah, I have to force myself to, uh, do the shit that I'm doing to maintain my sanity in the morning. It just started happening like a week ago. Maybe the kitten will help. I don't know, but I'm sort of experiencing some dread about getting the kitten because, um, that's going to be vigilant. I got to, you know, feed it every six hours and like, you know, Buster, Buster lost his shit last night because of this other cat out here. Hope Buster's not sick. I get, I worry too much about these fucking animals. I project too much. And then, like, it just, like, it gets to a point where all I'm thinking about is what I think the animals are going through. And they're usually not. But I just manufacture that thing. I manufacture that dynamic. I'm like, oh, he's sick. Oh, I wonder if the kitten's going to live. Oh, ba 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 Why is he doing this? Why is he doing that? Was that puke? Is he sick? Is this kidneys finally going? And it's just, it never ends, man. It's just like... The joy is overwhelmed by the concern and heartbreak of watching a relatively helpless animal just kind of like be themselves. And that is not supposed to be what's happening. I'm not getting a fucking dog. I can't, it's just too much hassle. I'd rather, I just like this sort of like, you know, not give a shit, sometimes I like you attitude of a cat. They shit in a fucking box that I clean once a week, maybe once every two weeks. Sometimes they like me, sometimes they don't. They don't ask much of me. And uh, that's perfect for me. I grew up with so many fucking dogs, I just can't, you know, I'm done with it. I'm done with dogs. My mom's here. My mom and Deborah Winger are here. I grew up a dog dude. I grew up so with so many fucking dogs. Once every two weeks, what? Do I change the actual litter? What do you mean I have one cat and I have two boxes? 
how much do I need to change it? I mean, I take the shit out of the box. Look what somebody got me. A miniature blower. This is from Andrea. It's hilarious. Mom, are you here? Mark, John, stop it. John, stop it. Pumpkin, no. Pumpkin, stop. John, go to Costco, John. Stop it. Pumpkin, perfect. Chuckles, giggles, gimper, mango, stop it. Stop. Disco, stop. Get down. Come here, gimper, gimper, stop it. Mango, pumpkin, where's perfect? Perfect. Barry, stop it. Barry, D Barry, stop. John, no. John, John, just go, just go outside, John. Just go outside. Go, John. Enough already. John, go to Publix, John. Just go. Go already. Barry, please. Everybody loves my impression of you. Look, this got sent to me. It's giant. Philip Roth biography. And, uh, okay. Have her come on. I don't want to even deal with that. With trying to get her to figure that out or... No, we're not doing that. Deborah Winger and my mother can hang out in, in the shadows. Though Deborah's always invited. But, um... You know, I don't know what she'll have to go through to get on here. I don't even know if she's even with us anymore. Um, oh, look at this. Somebody, this guy, Arthur T. Hatton. Dig this, man. Dig this. Painting. Looks like watercolor. Fucking great. Fucking great. What's Ernie's backstory? Nobody knows. The man of mystery. Somebody sent me, who sent this? Veronica. Hi, Veronica, you're here, aren't you? I got your records. I got the, uh, the Mike Patton record. Thank you very much. And I got this one, the Joe Cuba Sextet. That looks pretty great. She says, one of these albums is something my dad would play while he mowed the lawn. He moved record. He moved the record player out on the porch. That must be this one, the Joe Cuba. Yes, the other is one I thought you would like. Still looking for Sparkle Horse album to send. Oh wow, yeah, Sparkle Horse. I remember them. Thank you for that. Thank you. Um, isn't that good painting? And then uh, Light in the Attic sent me um, this. I don't know anything about this. How do people get the mailing address? It's P.O. Box 50753, Los Angeles, California, 90050. What's up, you done? Yeah, unless you want me to put a screw in the outside so they ever lift a thing and block them. Oh, you mean just a screw sitting there? Yeah, on the top? No, on the bottom. Yeah. So if they ever flip that little thing. Oh, so you mean just stick a screw in there? Yeah, to stop the, the screen from ever coming out. All right, you know, if the clip doesn't come, if the clip comes on, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, why not? Okay. Um. What, did Deborah chime in? What did Deborah say? Someone said, oh, the guy from the record label sent me all these fucking Keith Richards records. This is crazy. Wait, did send me, oh, whoa. Oh my God. Jesus. Fucking expensive winos box set, yo. Whoa, man, I'm turning into Dean. Oh, dude. Look at this. It's an expensive Winos box set. Look at the Dino season. 
that. That's wild. It's like Christmas, man. Um, whoa. What else do we got? Well, you saw that little blower, right? Dimitri sent me two more books that I already have. Dimitri Samaroff, the genius. You should check his shit out. Great artist, writer, great painter. I do have good friends. Um, all right, so I hope I hope that he's. I hope Buster's not dying. Are you gonna do it on the other side too? Yeah. And then we're gonna do the thing, the ring thing. Today St. Patrick's Day. Deborah Winger, yeah. I can hack it. I can hack it. What do you think's in this box? Oh. I can hack it. Man, when Deborah Winger dies in terms of endearment, it's crazy. Is that it? Yep. Oh, all right. What is this? Oh, it's from the new, it's from that place, the Nouvelle collection. Nouvelle. They sent me so many great records. I don't know, it's a mail order thing or something, man. It's um, Nouvelle Records. This is some sort of collection. The one that I just got was all from uh, New Orleans. I don't know any of these people, but boy, they're pretty records. We'll check it out later. I guess they sent them to me. Deborah, remember when he died in that movie? Very sad. Remember how terrible Jeff Daniels was to you? What am I, Chris Farley now? I can hack it. I can hack it. I gotta set. Let me give Ernie this other shit. Um. So you want me to uh, give you that the thing? Yeah. I can hack it. Too much promotion for Buster. Right on this book, right? Yeah, listen. Okay. Um, yeah, just do I need to do anything before you put it on there? No. All right. Um, oh, should we open another box or go listen to a record or get out of here? What is this afternoon bullshit, right? Ophelia's waiting for the vaccine. Good for you. Happy days. Well, don't let me hold you up from trying to go weasel your vaccine appointments. 
Or maybe you can get them legit where you live. Woo, oh, this is from Melody. Thanks, Melody. For the Mingus. Mingus. And the Spirit of Eden by Talk Talk. I don't know this record. But I'm, I'll listen. Thank you, Melody. Melody has sent me some good records. She's one of the uh, original girlfriends on the couch. We're doing a real show here today, folks. A real show. You got your fully chipped by the government. You're, oh, good for you. You got your vaccine. You're fully chipped by the government. What a bunch of fucking morons. Make America great again. We want it to be like it was in the old days when there was polio and measles and the mumps and our kids were dying of things they didn't have to die of. Bring that back. Kevin Morby records. <laughs> yeah. Please bring back the viruses of the past. Hey, Mark. Here's something for the Morby situation. His first album, and he threw in the new Woods, threw in the new Woods album, too. Morby used to play bass for us a while back. Thanks. Best Jeremy Woodsist Records. So, got that. Morby's first record. Thank you. I know you haven't been shit, dude. I was making a joke, too. People are very sensitive. I got some... I fought with two ladies on Twitter yesterday. Not fought with them. Who were, you know, take... Who took offense to me comparing Missouri to authoritarian Turkey. But I defended myself. And I said, you know what? <coughs> you know, if the government fits, wear it. Uh-oh. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Mike Viola record, he's kind of a genius. I don't know who sent me this, maybe Mike did. Um, yeah, it's like if you live in, you know, a sort of Christian fascist shit show of the state, you're gonna have to take some hits. Look at this, a bookmark book with a little letter. Big Time Stories by Jen Spira. Anybody know Jen Spira? Amazing podcast. That's for baby. Uh, wow, you're busy. Jen. Okay. Oh, dear Mark, thank you for being open to Adam Resnick asking Brendan to ask you to read this. <laughs> I, did, I didn't remember. Okay. Now we'll read it. That was a long time to admire her. All right, all right, I'll check it out. The world is great, the problem is your government. Yeah, I wasn't making fun of the people in Missouri, but it was like, you know, when I went there, uh, you know, I was, I, I could feel that I was nervous about the surroundings. P.O. Box 50753, there's no product in my hair. Um, weird question, it's just wet. P.O. Box 50753. Um, here's an art book. Photographs by Lindsay Bryce. I imagine she sent it. I'll read the card later. Um, P.O. Box 50753. LACA 90050. Ooh, you know what that means. Yeah. Third man, seven inch. I'm not a big seven inch guy, but they seem to send them. Magic roundabout, unheard mid eighties, Manchester indie pop noisemakers. That's from uh, third man, seven incher. Let's ease up on the gifts. What's this one? Feels like a book. Someone sent me something from Big Sur and I did not get it. I don't know where it is unless I got it and I didn't. 
똑같은 거. 하. Interesting. This looks British. Waterford Whispers News. I don't know. Irish maybe. Like an Irish onion maybe? I'm sure it's explained somewhere. Oh, here. Oh, nice card. Dear Mark, happy this day. Irish cows await you. Thanks for all the entertainment. You're welcome. Karina, you're welcome. It's an Irish funny book. Um, nice view of that boxwood. You got it. Oh, I'll show you this. A little bit of Cholo Jesus and uh, the Irish funny book. Okay, so when did I put that fish in? Like at one? Stay on it. So then what, what happens? Like Then I just, I, I get the app and then it, it just finds that thing? Yep, you connect it to... Um, Do I need to show it that little card there? That little... Well, we'll work it out. That thing will slide off? Or no? What, what thing? Are you going to hook it up to the doorbell? Yeah. All right, this, all right. Is, this, is, this is not going to slide off. If anything slides off, it's a camera if you ever want to charge it. Oh, okay, okay. I just like... I got to read the directions. Buster. Oh, man. Show of Jesus. Oh. Yeah, smoking fish. Buster, what's going on? Are you all right? Oh, boy. He's really... We dug in there now. Buster. Hey. Hey. Dude. Dude. No. Oh. Hey. What's up? What are you doing? You all right? play one song and then I gotta focus on shit. Man. Oh, look at this. I got this. It's the uh, 50th anniversary. Anybody know anything about this guy, Orville Peck? Let's listen to some of the blues men of Mali. And then we'll go out on that. So I gotta fucking try to figure out what happens with uh, Orville Peck's great. I listened to half of it. It was good. I'm not sure where I got it. I think somebody sent it to me. He's Canadian, and he wears a mask all the time. 
I did a little research. disposal to maintain your sanity just thought I'd give you a little afternoon show have a good day everybody be careful Deborah Winger uh, Mark why do you have to say everything about me Mark please stop on the IG would you stop please Buster please tell Mark to stop Barry why did we have Mark Barry why Mark was an accident. Mark was a diaphragm baby. Diaphragm baby. Diaphragm baby. Buddha face.